just ready to rock and roll. There's an academy that's helping kids of all ages kick off their music journey one note at a time. School of Rock music director Sojourner Zink and Jason Brennan join us this morning with the details. Welcome to the both of you. Thanks for Thank having you. us. Yeah, so tell us, what is School of Rock? Well, we teach um, students of all ages performance-based music education. So it's a combination of individual lessons where we teach instrument techniques, theory, and fundamentals through songs that they're learning in performance groups. So they come to a lesson and then they go to a rehearsal with their peers and get to play the music that they wow. are working on in their lesson with other people their age, which is a lot more fun than just doing <laughs> it by yourself. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. And what makes this program different than others? I believe it's the performance aspect of it. Yeah. Um, you can go to anywhere to take music lessons, but here you get the experience of performing as part of your music education. Yeah, so tell us about some of the programs that are offered. Um, we have um, programs for a variety of ranges. We start at Little Wings with ages three to five, mm -hmm. um, and we teach basic fundamentals there, um, counting and, and singing, you know, fun songs. Mm -hmm. And then five to seven, which is a little bit older, where kids start to get their hands on instruments so they can find an instrument they like. Yeah. And then um, for kids in the next age range, up to age 10, um, they do Rock 101, so they're actually learning a small set of songs where they're playing together in um, smaller bands and doing about four or five songs in a group. And then the next group is our performance program where students aged 11 to 18 um, learn a set of music, um, generally about 15 to 20 songs, and uh, they put a whole set together and play an actual show. So we take our students out to venues, out to breweries, and um, perform live music and teach them how to put on a show, teach them how to perform. So it's a little more than just uh, sitting in your bedroom practicing <laughs> yeah. and they actually get to play a show, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, it seems like a really unique experience and it's called School of Rock. Do you solely teach rock and roll? We do not. Um, I believe rock and roll is kind of the conglomerate of all different genres. Yeah. Um, we start very early with the Little Wings and, and Rookies programs. We teach different genres in those classes, yeah. um, ranging from funk to country, uh, reggae, metal, wow. punk. A little bit of everything. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been a, a whole wild ride. Um, even this past season in, in Roseville, um, we just finished up a, a Pearl Jam group, so some grunge, and then Sublime versus No Doubt, which is kind of like rock reggae. Uh, and then we had soul and southern rock, so we try and get a smattering of, of everything if we yeah, can. Yeah, I like that. And then there's also an opportunity for the children that attend this to join a house band. Could you tell us a little bit about that? House band is our only audition program, okay. so the kids that join house band um, go through a multi-question audition and a performance audition. Um, where they demonstrate their skill and knowledge of their instrument mm -hmm. and they get to join a band that um, of their peers that are the most dedicated students of their instruments um, and it's a lot of fun for them to um, be in a group of, of talented skill level like the same skill level of musicians yeah. um, and those kids go out and play um, as many gigs as we can book all mm -hmm. year long mm -hmm. um, and uh, like for example we've done about 15 or 20 gigs already Wow! and uh, we generally average about 50 a year for the house band students they mm -hmm. learn a lot more music mm -hmm. and um, we hold them to a bit of a higher standard yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they uh, they work hard and they they get to also go on a summer tour which we're about to start in a couple of weeks to the end of June um, so it's a uh, it's a lot of work and they have a lot of fun but they they uh, they get to perform a lot so yeah. it's really cool. <laughs> I was gonna ask what's the reaction from the students? I mean they're practicing with you guys but then when they get to perform on the stage and do these gigs, gigs what's their reaction to that? Um, I think for most students so that at the beginning they're pretty nervous but yeah. um, that's part of the fun that we say that the stage is the best teacher yeah and uh, it really shows it really shows the students what their what their practice uh, like brings with the fruit of their labor is, yeah. is brought on the stage. So um, the kids that, that do it a lot, they, they start to get comfortable on stage and they start to really open up and let loose and you see a, a young musician really uh, come out of their shell and 
um, make friends in their groups. So the experience of it brings uh, unity within their community and we're building a place that they can be themselves, they can be who they really are mm -hmm. and express mm -hmm. themselves, which I think is really cool. Yeah, okay, well I'm gonna let our viewers know where they can go for more information so that they can have their kids sign up for School of Rock. Thank you both for joining us this Absolutely. morning. Thanks if for having us. If you're ready to kickstart your child's musical journey, visit schoolofrock.com.